everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys how I painted up my Skaven Bombardier step by step for my Clan Scurvy Army. Stay tuned. Alright, so we're going to be starting off with Avalanche Sunset. Now, that is the base color I use for all my Clan Scurvy models. It's a really good yellow, it's a solid base color, it goes down well, and it's a really nice one to get. Uh, it, the color really pops on it when you put the shade over and a few highlights as well now for the skin I went with a little bit different I went to rack art flesh simply because it's a color I don't use enough and I really wanted to implement it a little bit more and plus when you're painting the rats or the mice on the rest of the model uh, you have a little bit of contrast between skin tones there as well so of course onto the metal parts anything silver is going to be your go-to color which is lead belcher um, it's proven to be solid and then the a newer paint that I've just gotten is Balthazar Gold which I've been trying to use a lot more it turns out really good in the end once uh, there's a nice shade over it and highlight it as well Balthazar Gold it's not it's like a mixture of gold and bronze so you're not getting too much of that gold look I didn't want it to be too clean or too new or too fresh looking uh, any of the, the bronzish parts on the guys so now we had Abaddon Black on the cable of the rocket gun or the weapon that he has and then steel legion drab which is another color i've been trying to use a lot more as well onto some of the wooden parts as well and then for the tail i usually i cut off the tails for clan scurvy i really didn't want to do it for this model and um, because i only have one and i'm not really sure i think the arrow individually now but i'm not too sure but i wasn't cutting it off for this so i just left it with rat skin flesh a different uh, skin tone uh from the the rest of the model then as well and then you had walked flesh all over uh, the green parts like the electricity parts coming out of his backpack and then a simple base coat of corn red over the top of the rocket and then onto his, his beard or any kind of fur parts that are on the guy i went over with uh dawnstone and um, i wanted it to be kind of like a bright gray and wanted it to be too dark and that suited it really well and then for the base coats now for the base coat of uh the robes with Avalanche Sunset. I didn't want it to be too dark. I wanted it to be a robes to still be bright, but I didn't want them to look too new. So Seraphim Sepia was a really good choice to go to with that. Uh, just don't let it build up in the recesses like you do with other shades, and it comes out just right. So Reichlin Flesh Shed then was over the Rackhart Flesh and over some of the the metal parts of the bronze as well so i didn't want to darken it too much and then over the rest of the silver and all that was null and oil that's your proven go to as well lead belcher null and oil you can't really go wrong with it either and then agrax earthshade was over pretty much everything else on the model then as well so you have it over the raid and uh, you might even have it go over some of the metal parts again with it to give it that a little bit more of a dirtier look if you wanted if you really wanted to go it that way um, and it turns out really well now Carabur Crimson again over the tail simply because as I said before I wanted the tail to stick out a little bit more and I wanted it to look like a different colour. So for the highlights for the robes I want the, the usual colour that I go with Uriel Yellow. It's a really good highlight colour. It works well with Avalon Sunset and the Seraphim Sepia mix. Because it's, it's not too bright but it's bright enough to really make the highlights of the robes stick out a lot more. And then with a Stormhost silver highlights over any of the silver parts and even some of the bronze parts as well to help them stick out. Get that shiny corners and the shiny edges of the metal to stick out. It really makes the metal pop, especially if you went with a really dark recess shade like the Northern Oil. And especially on the backpack. The backpack is such a prominent part of the model. It's what you're going to be looking at as well uh, nearly straight away so the kind of the stormhole silver highlight over the bronze looks really well and then a very very lightly dry brushed necron compound over any of the silver or any of the metallic parts as well and um, just to give it that extra highlight on top of it but i found necron compound to be very heavy so go really light with it i had to do it as well i had to go over it really lightly with it so and then for any highlights over the skin just to brighten up some of the most prominent parts with flayed one flesh i was really trying to get used uh used to trying using some of the brighter skin tones instead of just going with the usual bugman's glow so i was back using flayed one flesh to re-brighten up the skin a little bit and then for the highlights on the top of the rocket is evil sun scarlet just along the back of the edges to make it stick out a little bit more and, there's, and his pouch as well which is on the back of him 
I went over that with Evil Sun Scarlet also. So, and then of course, with a dry brush of Dawnstone over the black Abaddon parts, Abaddon black parts of the gun or of the rocket, which is the cable connected to the backpack. Um, instead of just trying to highlight little individual parts, I always find it tricky to highlight something like that. So I find a really light dry brush of Dawnstone works really well. So I moved on to the kind of the electrical parts, which is like the lightning and everything. And to try and get the green to pop and to get it the electricity to look like it's electric i suppose you could say i just kind of dry brushed it with uriel yellow and some of the other parts as well like the cable coming down the green cable coming down from underneath the gun as well just to get it to stick out a little bit more and then of course i went over it with his over his eye as well which was based with wag flesh i don't think i mentioned that earlier and uh, to give it that kind of nice glow effect as well the uriel yellow really helps this come across like that and it gives that a glow effect that if it's done just right with a really light dry brush don't overdo it it's really well and then of course with flare on flesh over his toenails his teeth as well to help them stick out a little bit more you want the teeth to be dirty maybe i think next time i might try and go with like a more of a yellowy dirtier teeth but i didn't want to do that this time simply because of the yellow robes now this is where i had a bit of trouble with the smoke but i really did try um, I should have used one of the technical paints that I had, like Hexred Flame. I don't think I had it by then. It's only just after arriving. So I went over it with Corax White. I tried Antonium Camo Shade to try and get it to, to look more greenish and to pop out a little bit more. But it, it looked kind of dirty, which kind of worked in the end a little bit, I suppose. So I just kind of dry brushed it lightly with Corax White as well over the most prominent parts. And it did turn out pretty decent in the end. It turned out like a dirty green smoke, which I suppose is what you're kind of wanting to look for as well you don't there's no i don't there's such thing as like clean smoke but um in the end i think it turned out pretty well i'm happy how this guy turned out i absolutely love this model i really think you don't see it enough uh painted pictures of it enough out there i really loved it i definitely wouldn't mind getting another one of these guys to convert up and to see what they're like once you do something different with it but that backpack is a lot of fun to paint there's a lot of cool parts and you get it you, you get to try a lot of really good metallic things on it as well as the effects of the smoke and the electricity coming across it which is really good as well as then the rest of the model is really nice the robes and um, his face and his helmet and the gun and all is really nice as well so let me know what you guys think of this paint tutorial i really love painting this model it was a total blast but let me know what you guys think if i helped you out when you're painting this guy let me know in the comment section below so make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video